So what's up, uh, uh, YouTube? It is your boy, Charles James. And on this lovely day, I would like to talk to you all about f forgiving yourself. And so in this case, in relation to my other uh, video that I made, you know, when it comes to this, this particular thing, f forgiving yourself, sometimes it can seem so hard and so sometimes we be so hard on ourselves whenever we are trying to just live past those uh, uh situations that had previously happened to us and so in most cases those uh situations will come back up in our mind and it will be as if we are living in in that same situation all over again. And so it makes it hard for us to really enjoy life because of the fact that we're going back thinking about the same thing. And I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what what's going on with you. But I do know when it comes to for, for forgiving yourself that when you do that, you set yourself free from guilt, shame, and anything that has anything to do with unforgiveness. If you if you just go to God and you and you just allow Jesus to just do his work in you you will have his peace. And so in life, we do things. We, we act up. We uh, definitely sin against God and against people. And so what that does is it, it really gets us into trouble. And sometimes when, especially when it comes to uh, to people, you know, things happen to where if we done something, we're not able to, uh, you know, uh, come back around them. Uh, br bridges are burned between family, uh, you know, members and close uh, uh, friends, and so and so when those things happen, yes, it takes a toll on us, but. I'm here to talk to you uh, for for all my people out there, for everybody out there that that is guilty. Because, see, all of us are guilty when it comes uh, to sin. But because of Jesus, he can expunge anything that you've done wrong. He can wipe it clean. And so I'm here to just encourage you, to encourage you in Jesus' name is, and to just uplift you and build you up because people will tear you down whenever they see that you're the cause of this and that happen. A lot of them will just continue to throw dirt and shame on your name. But I'm here to let you know that as long as you are breathing, you still have every opportunity to come to Jesus Christ and where Jesus, he can wipe your slate clean. Because even when people don't want to have anything to deal with, do, do with you anymore, yet alone deal with you and be around you, Jesus always wants to be around you. And so first, uh, I, want, I want to just, uh, before I read the scripture, I just want to pray real quick. So, dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we give thanks unto you for this beautiful and amazing day. And and Lord, we all join in together in this prayer asking, Lord, that if any of us have felt shame, guilt, any of those things, Lord, that you will remove those horrible feelings away from us and where you, you will bless us, O oh Lord, to feel your, your peace, where we don't walk around with our head down. And even if we were the cause 
of of something happening. It, and even if we we were, were the cause of why families split up or broken up, we ask you, Lord, to 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 please uh, uh, forgive us. And Lord Jesus, we are asking you, Lord, that you will just wipe our slate clean. And even when people choose to continue to see the worst in us, we know and believe that you think higher and greater of us more so than anybody else could. And so, Lord, every battle, everything, every guilt, every shame, we give it all over to all, all, all over to, uh, uh, to you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for you are worthy uh, to be praised. And even when our our bats are against the wall, Lord God, we still thank you. And we will continue to put you first. In Jesus' name, amen. And so I'm coming from Psalms chapter 103. I'm going to read from verse chapter 8 all the way to verse uh, 12. And it reads, the Lord is, is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plentish in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For for as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. So I'm here to just encourage you to let you know that whatever you have done and and when God, he has uh, forgiven you for, for, uh, for that thing, he has removed your sins far away to where God don't think about w what you've done because you are forgiven. And even when people want to hold that very thing against you, even when they want to continue to see the worst in you, just know that God, God, he is right there with you. Yes, you, you and I have may, may have been the cause of something bad happening. But let me tell you something. Jesus, he is right there with you. And no matter what, what you have done, no matter how bad that sin is, Jesus can wipe you clean. He can redeem you. He can bring you to, to, to a place that nobody else can ever take you. Jesus, he, he, he got us all. And so... And so from, from now on, walk with your head up high. Don't go to work. Don't uh, go to school worrying about what happened in the past. The past is the past. So we have to be aware of, of where we are at, which is today the present. We have to be aware of the present and we have to continue to make the right choices but we make the right choices with Jesus Christ on our side. That is how we won't ever fall ever again, is if we make our choices with Jesus Christ. So I love you all and you all take care. Bye.